Hi everyone, welcome back to the LA Bar Fitness Workout Channel. My name is Louise. Today I have for you a full body 360 workout with weights. I would recommend using between one and five pounds. I'm using three pounds today. We're working one entire side, going down to the floor, and then doing everything again in reverse, back up the other side. So you can think of it like a V, or like a parabola if you like math, okay? So that's how it's gonna work today. We're gonna start right away with our weight. So feet hip distance apart, and we're gonna do a soft bend in the knees like so. Good. Palms resting down with your weights on top of your thighs, and you're just gonna lift your arms up to shoulder height and back down like so. Good. Bringing awareness to your body. If there's any backward rocking motion, stabilizing with your abs to keep your shoulders over your hips. That's it. And breathe. We're doing four more right here. Three, two, we're gonna hold this last one up right here. And then we're just gonna go up an inch, down an inch, just hovering around that shoulder height. Excellent work. All right, we're gonna get the legs involved. You're gonna pop your heels up and down. Every time your arms come up, you pop those heels. Here's a side view. Up and down, up and down. That's right. Good. For four, three, two. Hold everything up. Hold those heels up if you can. Good. And just pulse the arms up on their own. Really want to make sure you have proper alignment here. Shoulders over hips. Front line is engaged. Let's go down a little bit. And up. Woo, right away, we're getting busy. Excellent. Down for two. Up for two. Good. Last one. Hold it down here. Static hold. Pop those heels up as high as you can. Push your metatarsals forward. Shoulders down. Reach the weights forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Very good. Heels down. Stretch those legs. Palms face one another. You're just going to open and close the arms. Whew. Can't wait to sweat. Good. Let's separate those legs a little bit. Turn the toes out. Excellent. Now you're going to plie every time you bring the arms out. That's it. Shoulders drop down away from your ears. Knees tracking over toes. Four more. Three, two, hold it down here. Palms face the ceiling, pulse it up. Good. And you can pulse down with those legs at the same time. Eight, six, four, three, combination. You can watch me first. Up, higher, higher, down. Up, higher, higher, down. Levels. Good. When you're good with the arms, add the legs. Excellent, four more. Three, two, one. Good, hold it here. Palms face forward, back down to shoulder height. You're gonna pop that right heel up, right arm is gonna meet the left as you swivel your right heel in, body faces the side, and then open back up here. One more time slow, and open back up at tempo. Four more. Three, two, one. Hold it here. Palms face the ceiling. Bend those elbows in. Bicep curls. Now we're facing the side in a lunge position. Back heel is forward. Two 90 degree angles with those legs. Drop the knee at the back. We're getting some quad work here at the same time as working our biceps. Four more, just the arms. Two, 
One, now every time you extend, you're gonna bring the back leg in. That's it. Four more. Three, two, last one. Hold your lunge right here. Good, just start pulsing up those arms. Make sure shoulders are rolled back and down. Hips are facing forward. So if you've opened up a little bit here, good. Working hip, send it forward right here. Okay, we're gonna transfer all of the work into that right arm so you can do so by sending your weight that was in your left hand into your right arm. Or if you prefer not to double up the weights, you can send that other weight down to the floor. Just work with a single weight on that right side. I'm gonna pick my weight back up though. So tiny pulses up and down. Good, we're gonna take two to the side and two to carry it back front. Two side, back front. So if you're not feeling this yet, then you must be super conditioned and you can make it more challenging by just pushing your elbow up away from your body. So create some space here. Good. And that will just increase the intensity a little bit as well as dropping the back knee down. Whew. You will hear me breathing. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Excellent, holding it here. Redistribute those weights or pick your weight back up if it was on the floor. Palms face one another. You're gonna send your body forward, proud chest, shoulders back and down over the front thigh. And you're going to begin extending the arms and bending them back in for tricep backs. Trying not to swing those arms, trying to resist the extension here. Good. So you can work with just the arms, or you get the right leg involved. So right leg can move out and in, or it can lift up and down at the back. Good. Well done at home. So much is happening in your body for this movement. Triceps are working, glute is working, hamstring of that leg lifting is working, abs working. Excellent. For four, three, two, hold it up there. Flex the foot. Elbow and knee joint are gonna bend and stretch at the same time. Small bend, big stretch, small bend, big stretch. Two more slow, and let's pick it up. Bend stretch, bend stretch. Whew. Eight more, six, four, three, two, one. Send that back leg down, bend the back leg, straighten the front leg so your weight is on your back leg now. Swing the arms through to the front. Let's do some rows right here. So drawing the elbows up, parallel on either side of your body, trying to get them to touch at the back. We want all of our weight on that back leg right now to give some relief to that front leg because it's about to work again. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, imagining that pencil in between your shoulder blades, squeeze it. Whew. For four, three, two, hold it back here, pulse it back, back, good. Whoop, see, even I go off balance sometimes. I'm not even gonna edit that out. It's about falling off and getting back on. Three, Two, keep your squeezes going. Send all of your weight on that front leg if you can. Back leg is bent, parallel, knee facing the ground. Begin pulsing that leg up at the back for some hamstring action. It's 
It's all about the compound work today. Six, four, three, two. Here we go, everybody. Stretch those arms, let the weights hang down. Single leg plies. Woo! Your glute should be speaking to you. Proud chest, long back. So you're finding a true squat position on the one leg. Hold this one down right here, pulse it out. Making sure your shin is perpendicular to the ground as much as possible. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Now watch what happens here. I'm gonna shoot my back leg out. I'm gonna send my arms out in front of me into a warrior three with weights. Holding it here. Six, four, three, two, one. Send those weights down. Let it tip your body forward. Send your legs sky high. Crown of the head to the floor. Pulse that leg up. For four, three, two, one. Very good. Bend the bottom leg. Send your back leg down so you're in this transition runner stretch. Make sure the weights are out of the way. Palms on the floor beneath your shoulders. Scooch that front leg back. And now we're in plank position. Excellent. Right leg is gonna lift up and down. Knee to chest, knee to elbow, knee crossed. Up, down, knee to chest, knee to elbow, knee crossed. We're going through that combination several more times. Four more times, let's go. Staying true to your plank position here. Two more. Last one. Knee to elbow, knee crossed. Find your plank, alternate knees in. You can stay at this tempo or you can run it out right here. Excellent. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Well done. Knees down. Good. So we're in a quadruped position here. My hair is getting stuck on my lips. You're gonna take one of your weights. You're gonna place it behind the right knee here. Secure it there. You do not have to work with the weight. Just gives a little bit of extra resistance. Press your calf into your hamstring. Lift your knee off the floor till about hip height here and begin pulsing it up. So it should feel like you're poking the ceiling. Now, if you watch a lot of my videos, you've heard me say it many times, but I always like to remind everybody, you're really trying in this movement to minimize rocking in the hips. So instead of this, you want to have it so that all of the work is coming in your hamstring and your glutes. To make that happen, you can think about tucking the pelvis under just a little bit every time you pulse up. So three pulses up, up higher, higher down is the next combination. Up higher, higher down. Good. Try to show the distinct levels. I can't see you, but imagine me there in your living room or wherever you're doing this, watching you show me three levels. Up higher, higher down. Four more. Three more, two more, last one, good. Back to straight pulses on the beat. Flex the foot. Again, if you've started to drop in between the shoulder blades here, puff up, support them. Let's add a squeeze at the top. Press the calf into the thigh at the top of your pulse. 
up squeeze, up squeeze, up squeeze. Good. Working hip stays facing the floor. So tendency might be to open up here, push it back down. Well done. Eight more. Six, four, three, two, one. Very good. Bring the leg down. Gently remove that weight. Extend the leg behind you. Flex foot, toes facing the floor, bellies in. Begin lifting that whole leg up and down. <sighs> My eyes are stinging <laughs> from all the sweat. Good, so I want you to think of lengthening behind the knee every time you lift the leg up. Lengthen and lift. Let's begin crossing it and then landing it out. So cross it, land it outside. Cross, landing it. So you're aiming for about a four or five o'clock here. Two more. Last one. Good. Now keep it at the outside here. Begin lifting in that five or four o'clock plane on the diagonal. Lots of weight again in that working hip and that right arm. Good. Four more. Three, two. Let's quicken this up a little bit. Pulse it down, 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 down. Four, three, two, one. Lift it up, circle it so it's back down in the cross position. Now again, lifting it up and down in the cross position. Three, two, one, and pulse it down a little faster. Really difficult not to move your body here, but we're doing our best. Four, three, two, one. Very good, hold it here. Now we do small bend, big stretch, small bend. Big stretch, Woo. four, three, just like we did in the standing position with the tricep back. Let's take this faster, bend stretch, bend stretch, bend stretch. Now if you're feeling good, you can level this up, curl the back toes under, weight off your knee, maybe add a push up here. Eight, six, four, three, two, one, very good. Knee down, point the toe, bend the knee, pulse it up. Left elbow comes down, right arm moves out. Open up that knee, open up the hips here. Keep the leg pulsing. And then come all the way down to your side. Leg is still pulsing up. Did you see how we did that transition? Poof, now we're working our abductors. Good, excellent. Hips are stacked. Okay, be aware of any rocking back here. Push it forward. Good. So I see this little weight here. Looks lonely. Looks like it wants a purpose. So I'm gonna put it on top of my thigh right here. Whew. And I leveled up just like that. You don't have to use the weight, but it is there for you. Good. Option to come all the way down so your head is resting in your hand. Good. Well done. I'm actually gonna come back up to my elbow. I prefer it. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Close the knees all the way. Angle your knees to the floor, toes to the ceiling. And now we're just gonna go into a clamshell movement here. I've still got my weight resting on my thigh good four three two hold it open right here pulse it open good Whew. I'm burning so good I hope you are too keep pulsing eight six four three two one, send the back leg down, stretch the front leg here, take the weight off just for a moment. Back knee comes in and down, just like this. Good. 
keeping the knee tracking in the same plane, but trying not to let it come forward here. Keep it turned out. All right, leg that's stretched. Lift it up, lift it up. Nice slicer movement here. And ooh, I can use my weight again. Only if you want to. Good, and you can rock back just a little bit. So you're on the cushiony part of your bottom to make this a little easier. Three, two, let's speed this up. Hang in there, inner thigh blitz. Three, two, one, very good. Fold the legs again. Leg that's on top is gonna reach in and out long. In, out. Excellent. Good. Arm can move with the leg. All right, folks, if we're good with that, let's get the bottom leg going as well. Four more, just like this. Three, two, hold it out there. Beat the legs up. Hand can come and pulse down toward the legs at the same time. Let's go, let's go. Only eight more, promise. Six, four, three, two, one. Very good, bend the knees. Move so that you're sitting. On your bottom, legs bent, feet flat. I'm gonna use my weight in front of my chest. I'm gonna lean my body back a little bit. If you need some support on your lumbar spine, go ahead and use a stability ball or a towel. Place it right here and lean back on it. I'm not gonna use one. Scoop your abs in, holding the weight in front of your chest. You're gonna move your body up, down, up and down. Excellent. Don't forget to breathe. Bar is hard. And this class is hard. Well done. Eight more. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it back. You're gonna begin rocking that weight from side to side. Or if you don't have a weight, you're just here. You're still working, I promise. Option, legs off the floor. Well done. Taking your obliques for a ride. Eight more at this tempo. Then we're going for it. Four, three, Two, are we ready? Double time, let's go. So we're at the bottom of our V now. Once we're done this, we're coming back up on the other side. Whew. Come on, eight, six, four, three, two, one. Very good, excellent work. Swing your legs to the other side on your left elbow or your opposite elbow this time. Top leg is gonna come in and reach long. Good. Arm with the leg. Okay, when you're ready, or maybe you've already got the bottom leg with the top leg. Four more. Three, two, here we go. Into our pulses. Arm and leg beat together. Eight, six, four, three, Mama two, said, one. Said. Very good. Back into that mermaid position here. Pulse the top leg up. Hips are stacked, knees are stacked. Well done. 
Good, I'm gonna grab my weight. I'm gonna put it on top of my thigh. And breathe. Never thought these movements would become recovery, did we? This is a recovery movement, believe it or not. Let's have eight more. Six, four, three, two, one. Send the knees to meet one another. Angle the shins, clam. Open and close those knees. Good. Again, weight is optional if you don't want to use it. You're still working. Careful of any rocking in the hips, stabilizing with the core. Four more. Three, two, hold it open right here and pulse. Good. This is my less cooperative side. I think we all have one. So I'm really trying to be aware of using my turnout muscles here. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Remove the weight. Send the back leg down. Extend the front leg. Knee comes in and down. Excellent. When you're ready, bottom leg slices up. Okay to rock back a little bit on the cushy part of your bottom. Well done. Four more like this. Three, two, one. Pulse it. Fast slicing movement here. Point those toes. Bottom leg is nice and long. Smile. Breathe. <sighs> Think how strong you're gonna be. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Think how strong you already are. Send that leg down. Weight comes in front here. Pop, so you're in your plank, and then lower both knees. Take the weight, put it behind that left knee. Squeeze it there by pressing your calf into your thigh. Lift your knee up to about hip height here and begin pulsing it up. Again, imagining that glass of water on your low back. You're trying not to let it spill. Whew. All right, let's move into our combination. Three beats up and down. Up, higher, higher, down. Up, higher, higher, down. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one, back to straight pulses. Flex the foot. Excellent, now let's add a little squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. Good. Taking care of any wiggle in the hips. Lots of weight in that working hip. Send it to the floor. Woo! Up and squeeze, up and squeeze, up and squeeze. Four more. Three, two, one. Excellent work. Point the toe, bring the knee down. Remove that weight. Place it out of your way. Extend the back leg long, flex the foot. Up and down with that whole leg. Initiating the movement with the back of the knee. And what I mean by that is I want you to imagine that you have a string, an invisible string, tied to the back of your knee, and your leg is lifting by somebody pulling up to the sky on that string. And that should cue you to lengthen behind the knee every time you lift. Now let's begin crossing it back to center and then out to about a seven o'clock. So alternating between cross and out on the diagonal. Good. Excellent. Four more. Three, two, 
Last one. Good, now hold it out on the diagonal and just begin lifting it up and down in that seven o'clock plane. Four more. Three, two, and let's begin pulsing it down on the beat. Down, down, down. Excellent work. Lots of weight in that hip, in that left arm. Four, three, switching sides right away to the cross position. Inner thigh action. Three more. Two. Begin pulsing it down on the beat. Cross, cross, cross. Four. Three. Two. One. Back up. Small bend. Big stretch. Small bend. Big stretch. Excellent. Four more at this tempo, then we're going for it. Three, two, here we go. Fast tempo, bend stretch, bend stretch. And you can curl your back toes under, bring your weight off the knee, add a little pulse down with that upper body. Eight, six, four, three, two, hold it here. This might be the hardest transition in the whole combination. Scooch that back leg back. Point the toe. Plank combination. Knee to chest. Knee to elbow. Knee cross. Seven more times. And breathe. Up. Down. Knee to chest. Knee to elbow. Cross. Whew. Let's go. Four more. Knee in. Knee side. Knee cross. Two more ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Whew. Last one. Alternating knee to chest right away. You can stay at this tempo or you run it out with me. Let's go. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. You're gonna bring your right leg forward into this transitional runner stretch. Find your weight. We are popping up into that warrior three position. Here we go. Nice and smooth. Holding it here. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Send the weights down. Bring your body upright, bend the back leg. Single leg plies, here we go. Finding that squat position. Sit bones tracking back. Short breathe. Tripping over my words. Two more. Last one. Hold it down here and pulse. Relax the toes on the floor. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead, set that back leg down. Follow the foot in the floor. Bend the back knee. Weight on the back leg. Row the arms. So stretching those arms in front of you on a diagonal. I know that front leg is on fire, so give it some relief by leaning on that back leg, squeezing the pencil in between your shoulder blades. Let's have four more. Three, two, hold it back here. Pulse the elbows together. Now, unless you're double jointed, your elbows probably aren't touching, which is perfectly fine. But that's the mind-muscle connection that you want to build. 
All right. All of your weight on that front leg. Lift the back leg off. Begin pulsing the back leg up. Eight more, let's go. Six, four, three, two, one. Send that back leg down. Extend the arms and bend. Tricep back, with or without the left leg moving in and back. Take a break whenever you need it. Folks, don't compromise form. Back leg also has the option of just lifting straight up and down. Three, two, one. Hold it up, pulse it up. Chest is proud. Four, three, two, flex the foot. Small bend, big stretch. Let's take this even faster. Let's go. Bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Eight more. Six, four, three, two, one. Send the back leg down. Find your lunge position. Palms face forward. We're almost there. We're climbing back up the other side of that V. Okay, when you're ready, bring the back leg in. Alternating between your lunge and standing leg. Four more. Three, two, hold it back here. Pulse it up. All right, just like on the first side, we're gonna transfer the load to the single arm, left arm for me. Pulse it up. We're almost there. Four, three, two, alternating between side and front. Add a pulse. Two pulses side and front. Again, option to keep your elbow tacked to your side or lift it away from your body. Keeping your shoulder square, hip square. Four more, let's go. Two. Last one. Very good. Transfer the weight back to the right arm. Shoot those arms forward. This time, left arm, left knee are gonna open up, face the front, back to the side. One more time, slow. Back to the front, side I mean. Here we go, at tempo. Going back the way we came. Four more. Three, two, Hold it here. Palms face the ground. Bend the elbow. Begin pulsing up. I'm gonna move over just a bit. Sink down low. Good. Four, three, two. Now begin tracking elbows back, back. Whew. Four, three, Two, combination. Two pulses up for two, back for two, good. Last one, so I'm gonna cut it in half. One up, one back, let's go. Just holding your plie. Four more, three, two, one, good, elbows down. With me, punch, punch, home stretch. Are we ready? Let's take this as fast as you can go. Punch, 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 punch. Stabilize with the obliques. 
Let's go, let's go. Eight, seven, sink lower. Six, five, whew. four, three, two. You got this. One, very good. All right, heel toe the feet in. Well done, everybody. I'm gonna put my weights down. And we are moving into a well-deserved stretch. First off, let's roll those shoulders back and down. Release any tension in our necks that may have built up. And roll those shoulders forward. Whew. Let that heart rate come back down. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna begin with a quad stretch. Grab hold of the right or left foot. Hold it in. Pull it into your glute. Both knees flush. Use a chair or countertop to help you. Excellent. Let go of that foot. Send it in front. Standing for your four. Good. Single leg plie, it's back. Again, use whatever support you need right here. Let gravity push this knee down. Release in the glute right here. It might be gripping right now because of all the work that it did. Just intentionally relax it right here. Excellent. Whew. Up you get on cross the leg. I'm gonna turn sideways. So I'm still in the camera, but you don't have to turn sideways. You can send the heel in front of you on the floor, bend the back leg. Good. Into a nice hamstring stretch right here. You can just keep your hands on your quads or option to grab the toe. Trying to pull that femur into the hip. So if you're here, square off those hips, pull the femur back, push this hip forward. Leading with the belly button, pushing it into the top of the thigh. Excellent work. I'm gonna slide this foot back behind me into a calf stretch. Excellent. Let's get the other side. Quad stretch. Taking those deep breaths. Release the foot, cross it in front. Figure four, sit on down. Whew. My body is like, we're doing this again. We're playing on one leg again. Yes, yes we are. And let's come up out of that. Whoop. Good, I'm gonna turn sideways again for our hamstring stretch. I'm gonna send my heel out in front of me, bending on the back leg, working to square off my hips here. Grabbing hold of my toes, or you can leave your hands here. Coming up out of that, I'm gonna slide my foot back. Half stretch. Good. We did a lot of work with our arms today. So I want to make sure they get a nice stretch too. Cross your right arm in front. Press the shoulder down. Pull the bicep into your chest. I'm gonna switch this. Elbow comes beside my head. Pull it in with the other hand. You can also lean a little bit to the opposite side. Well done. Okay. Switch. Press the shoulder down. Good. Elbow comes into the side of your head. Pull it in. Option to the knee in the opposite direction. Good. All right. Send this arm down in front of you. Just switch your grip. So now you're holding onto your forearm here. Just gently pull this arm down. Tilt your head in the opposite direction away from your shoulder. You can nod your head yes. And shake your head no. Good. No, I do not want to work out for another hour after this. And as you get, let's switch sides. Just gently pull your shoulder down away from your ear. 
Tilt your head in the opposite direction. Nod your head, yes. Yes, I love bar. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> All right. Excellent work, everybody. Okay. I'm going to finish off class by doing three deep breaths. So I'm going to come down in a parallel squat position. I'm going to hug my chest over my knees. I'm going to inhale the arms up and exhale down. Inhale the arms up, float the elbows back down. And inhale the arms up. And we are all set. Thank you so much for joining me today for this full body 360 workout. Please take whatever extra time you need to stretch. If you liked what you did today, please let us know in the comments. We'd love your feedback. And as always, we are LA Bar Fitness. Hope to see you in the next video. Thanks so much, everybody.